Well, well, we'll get into the interior of the car, uh, starting with the seats. Uh, they are Recaro pole position seats. Uh, the uh, harnesses are uh, Sabel four point uh, harnesses. The uh, motor, the, the original Motorsport logos were embroidered on. Uh, did um, custom uh, custom embroidery, and, uh, and they came out really nice. We're gonna swing around. We're gonna do the gauges. Um, the gauges are all VDO, Series 1 gauges are all period correct for that time. Uh, starting off in the, this cluster, we've got, uh, we've got fuel pressure, oil pressure, tack, water temperature, and volts. And then we've got two clusters here, uh, which we have uh, engine oil temperature, trans temperature, differential temperature. Uh, the lower uh, the lower cluster is um, uh, uh, fuel uh, fuel level. Um, center one is an hour meter, and then the last one is a clock. Uh, the dash cover itself is an original CSL dash cover. Uh, the entire dash was moved out about six inches, five or six inches, uh, just to bring the you know just to bring everything closer to the driver, as we tried to move everything to the center of the car as possible. Uh, the um, uh, the steering column. The only thing that we retained was just the cover for the, from the original uh, from the original CSL, uh, and then we uh, this center console here uh, is not as the way the CSLs were. Um, this was this is a, the the um, the cage is actually incorporated into the trans area and um, so um, removable panels on the side for easy access to the transmission linkage in the back of the bolts you know the the back of the transmission for the if you want to remove uh, anything uh, everything is all uh, easy access which I'll be showing you later uh, the um, the the, uh, the main switch panel itself um, what I did was is I matched the font from the gauges uh, to to the font on the uh, you know, and then made the font on the on the uh, main switch panel. Uh, all of the um, all of the the push pull circuit breakers, uh, they're all out of Wix aircraft. Uh, all of the safety switches are all out of Wix aircraft, um, and then of course uh, um, you know everything is. Again, just very, very easy from you know to get to from you know when you're shifting, you can you know everything is nice and close. You've got the uh, fire suppression switch, and then you've got the main disconnect. And um, we'll uh, we'll get into um, again ne the the next video. We'll we'll pull everything apart, and we'll show you. Uh, uh, all the innards of everything. Uh, basically, uh, all the wiring harnesses, everything had to be made. Uh, there were, um, uh, you know, the ECU, uh, the ECU and the relay box and the cold start are all housed uh, behind the uh, inside of the dash. And then these two Zeus buttons, you just pop those, and then you can remove the. Uh, uh, the dash cover, but leaving the uh, clusters intact. Um, we eliminated the drive by wire and went with all manual uh, type linkage. It was uh, just a lot easier. And uh, in the moving towards the back, um, where the um, uh, the um, coolers, the transmission cooler and the differential coolers housed, and also the battery. And again, we'll get into that. Uh, the uh, steering wheel has a uh, quick disconnect on it. So um, basically, if you want to, it's just easier to get in and out of the car, really. And then there you go. That's an original Etel Volani uh, steering wheel, and that was what originally came on the CSLs uh, back in the mid 1970s. And uh, this one was recovered. Uh, with new leather and um, it's a very nice period piece. Uh, the um, door panels uh, had it we had to be made. Uh, I made the stencils for them and just gave the upholster 
the general idea of what they should look like. Um, they look very close to what the original coupes had. Um, just the original door panels had a lot more holes in them for uh, armrests and map pockets and things like that. So uh, we cleaned them up and you know made what you see here. Uh, all the trim is all original. Uh, it's just been redone. Uh, the vinyl that would have normally been here was removed and uh, we painted it the same color finished black that everything else is on the interior of the car. Um, of course you've got manual crank windows which work. Uh, you've got the uh, the vent windows uh, and they're all operational. Um, I put all of the original weather strips back in. I really wanted it to make it make it look uh, more factory and some something that was more purpose built for for a combination street and track um, and finished off the um, the insides of the doors with uh, with the trim just to again just to just to make it look a little more finished and and just uh, a more purpose built car um, and again fit and finish was a, a very high priority um, and let me see what else we've got uh, over here if uh, we've got the for the, for the battery uh, basically plug it in and and uh, you know now you can jump it or you know whatever there's a, there's a set of cables that we made up for it um, the mats um, the mats um, again they they were made by the upholster and um, uh, underneath them they have a heat shield so um, this way here uh, it doesn't get as hot in there um, it's very simple, uh, very, uh, there's, there's, uh, uh, again, when we get into the next uh, video, we're taking everything apart, you'll, we could see how, how, um, there's a lot of quick disconnects and, um, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, real simple ways that, that just to, for removal and, and maintenance servicing. Um, oh. Almost forgot fire extinguisher in the center. Um, and again, we wanted to have the back panels. You know, all the uh, the rear panels are just uh, flat sheets of aluminum painted black. Uh, and then I kept the, uh, the top pieces for the for the top window trims, and just, just again just made it so it it, it looks more neat and finished. Um, and we'll get swing around to the other side real quick. And yes, no radio. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, we'll get into the next one and uh, go from there.